Suspension's a tricky subject. It's kind of taken as a bit of a black art in motocross. People think there must be a magic wand and you know a bit of voodoo. But to be honest, if you can spring the thing right and do the basics, set your sag, get your clickers right, how do you beat the Japanese? They're pretty good at coming up with a generic setting that's gonna work for everyone. The time when you need a revalve is when all of a sudden you find you're riding that stock stuff and then you're starting to have issues. A lot of people come to me and say, I need, I need to get a revalve. I need to get my suspension handling. I need to get, and I'll say, well, what springs you're on? And they won't have a clue or their sags. So I think with suspension, very much start with those basics. Get those basics dialed in and I think you'll find with the stock valving, you'll get a really good result. And then you go from there, you go from there, so you get running with that. And then if you find you have a need and you start to find an area of your bike where you're having trouble, that's when you start to look at valving and, the, and parts and things like that to really get the suspension working properly. So to sum it up, what should you spend your money on? Probably if you're in that C, B level, definitely go C, get, a, get some riding coach, get your technique correct, make sure your tires are good, things like that. And as you progress, the mods become more important. If you're looking for a championship hunt and you're at the very top level, well that's when you need it. That's when you need those trick bits and you need all the power on the handling. To sum it up, get your technique right and then work on the bike.